Uh oh. It's that day again. It's that fucking day again. Whatever. Yeah, well, that intro, I figured, why not? Because today is Wednesday, home day, and also whatever Wednesday. So I figured, why not? An unboxing for whatever Wednesday. Whatevs. But yeah, what you see in front of you, I think I pointed out, it's another box. So let's unbox it right now. Oh god, that's good. Oh boy, newspaper. Oh, that, that was good. But we're not worried about that. Trash cans right here, so burn me. I don't want to talk like that. Just want to be funny. Whoa! It's all in pieces, but that's a good thing. So yay! Since we're still rolling. It's whatever. Whatever Wednesday. Woohoo. We'll undo the cord. Now we're done here. Well, here it is all assembled. I had to do some creative work. Because what happened, these little inserts right here, they go inside, not outside. So, I mean, hell, it was in pieces, and I didn't really think to look at the listing beforehand. Same for right here. So I had to do that off camera. And... As you can tell, it is a Lakewood HV12. The silver lining is missing. It needs a cleaning. And if you notice, the blades are just about the same as the uh, HV12 WRs. Let's take a look at the back where the motor is. And if you notice the motor, it almost looks like it's not the same as the motors in the uh, in my S122X. Same for the oscillator, so I think it's probably most likely a Fasco. And it even says oil here, so yeah, right there. So there are oil ports. There are the front of the motor and there in the back. So it is meant to be oiled. Still needs cleaning. And the other thing I've noticed, I mean, I've been so used to these little high velocity fans with the controls being on top. This one's at the bottom, so it's gonna not really bother me. It's just gonna take some getting used to. But that's okay. Because <clears throat> I'm awesome like that. So, yeah. So, without further ado, here's hi. Plates are a little out of balance and could use cleaning and an oiling, but 
I'm sure this thing will blow up. It's kind of air. And, he's, and there's some rust right here, so... Medium. And you're not going to get an accurate representation because this breeze will not stop! Low. Back to high. And off. Or it could be the depth of the blades then um, causing some resistance. But most likely an oiling. I figured since I had some time, um, get the information tags and stuff. Model HV12, 115 volts, 60 hertz, 2 amps. Manufactured by Lakewood Engineering and Manufacturing, Chicago, 60612. And I found what looked to be a date code, but the date code confused, it's not really confusing me, it's just odd. I don't know if you can see it, or I lost it. I lost, I saw it. Really, I did. Oh yeah. Like I said, in between that uh, cage brace, it says O A, and you might be able to make out where it says eighty two. Well, I can see it from here, but yeah, you can see it more. Well, maybe you can. I don't know. But trust me, it's there. It says OA82, so I don't know if it was, um, I'm going to take a while, I guess, and say January of 82, but I'm not an expert, and finding date codes is complicated, but can be done, but deciphering them is, well, that's another story. So I guess that's going to conclude this video of this, um, Lakewood HV12WR. We are pump day video as well as whatever Wednesday. So yeah, another Lakewood for my collection. I'll be ever expanding, but whatever. I don't really care. It's me. It's one of those things. These are hobbies, but it's just me. If you don't like it, well, you know where to go. So until next time, whatever it is, I'm Eski. Thanks for watching. And the comment box is open. Thank <laughs> you.